This is a rare sight in every sense of the word. You can fly for hours over the Pacific Ocean without seeing anything but water. But once you see one island, you find a whole cluster round about it. And they're all fashioned to the requirements of your dreams. We're in New Caledonia, heading as the early French settlers did before us for the Ile des Pins, the pine tree island where nothing changes. All we need to etch this adventure into our memory is some succulent seafood. And stand by for it, our picnic lunch is coming aboard. There's no hurry. A boat trip between tropical islands creates the sort of breeze you could bask in all day long if that pine-lined beach wasn't luring you so irresistibly. This is your island. It is precisely as you would have created it in your imagination. And there's no one to dispute your ownership or jostle your elbows. The sand is softer and whiter than you could ever have dreamed possible, and it's all yours. This is a world of blue lagoons and coral strands and sun-drenched happiness. Some recklessly romantic part of you has always lived in a paradise like this. There is just one danger, one warning you want to be given. After a picnic on the Ile des Pins, no food will ever seem to taste quite so delicious ever again. No wonder those gourmets, the French, settled here. The sea is full of succulents. You could live here in mouth-watering luxury on your skin-diving fisherman's wits. Ironic that peaceful isles like this should have had such turbulent origins, because while some are coral growths, many are volcanic and were born in shuddering eruptions and upheavals. Now you see lazy, lovely beaches wherever you look. Here it isn't easy to recall the workaday world, and it's hard to realize that this is a tropical island too. This is Noumea, the lush center of this French outpost in the Pacific Ocean. It might at first sight be a Mediterranean town. Noumea has the best of two exciting worlds oceans apart. French fineries and Paris chic get the place where you start out on your desert island discoveries and where you find the remnants of the colonial past. That's the earliest hotel there ever was here. All this could be France. Yes, this could be France. But this is a British outpost. This is Fiji. And the police are changing guard at government house. There's the stamp of British Army drill discipline about this fine body of Fijians. Well, you find a more native strain of vigor when you see them in their club dance. Stuff. 
and the skirts detract not a whit from the masculinity of these Fiji police. Here, at what is the capital of an archipelago of 300-odd volcanic islands. We're north of the equator now, within hailing distance of Japan. People from all over the Pacific live here, where one sure-fire tourist attraction is the range of duty-free shops. Cameras, transistors, copper souvenirs, gold trinkets are on sale with coral beads. But for coral and the true wonders of the tropical seas, you must take the Ululu trip over the rainbow reefs. These coral reefs are more dream islands in the making. But you don't have to wait until they grow out of the water to enjoy their magic. See what those divers can bring up for us from their underwater treasure hunts. Truly, there's more beauty than travelers ever conceived in, under, and by the shores of this big blue sea. Remember, this is the very stuff that a lot of tropical islands are made of, if you could ever forget. And just as if the coral wasn't joy enough in itself, see the darting beauty that the coral has been concealing. This all might be an elaborate magician's trick. Certainly, it's magical. like this forever. And you only need photographs to prove to yourself that such dreams can really be true. Compared with nature, man is an amateur at creating beauty. And civilized man has to come here to these tropic seas to rediscover the simplicities of romantic life where there's a new dream island to explore almost every day of the year. This is Castaway's Island, and who wouldn't give his soul to be shipwrecked here? Sumptuous living awaits you on Castaway's Island, and here you'll find good company. But out of Fiji's 322 islands, only 100 are inhabited. Some of the unoccupied islands grow sugar and other crops. Some are simply a private paradise for anyone who happens along. In Europe and America, you brighten a meal with a sprig of parsley. Here you have palm trees and balm in the air to make every mouthful a memory. And here you can find your own personal hand-picked heaven, the island you always knew was for you alone. Back. 